Hey guys, Lara Sainara here. So, just like last week, I decided I was going to be a derp. But what I did this time is I played through the next part of Dark Parables. Uh, but see, what happened was is I didn't have it pulled up on my recording program. So, it was pretty much just me playing on a blank screen. You guys wouldn't have been able to see anything. And since you can't go back in Hidden Objects, I had to start a new game and basically get back to where I was. So, well, I got to play for another hour and a half, frustratingly. Uh, at least you guys won't have to see any of that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so Welcome back to part four of Dark Parables, Briar Rose Let's get back into it Alright, so last time we defeated the scary spider Let's continue Now we're in the kitchen Queen's Tombstone <clears throat> you found a new item. Cool, we got the Queen's Tombstone now. So that's what Sabir missed for. We got a star thingy. Is that all? Okay, I guess so. Can I use a star here? No. That's not what princes look for in the sky. Or, well, not in the sky, but at midnight. Or whatever. Mm -mm. Uh, I know where we can use the chain thingies. Oh, let's go back. Uh, well, first, let me... Let me put the prince over here. Cool. Oh, here's another game. Awesome. <coughs> it's Princess Key. Alright, let's continue. Queen Scepter. Yay! Alright, so we need to go put the Godmother together. Fairy godmother. It's I said godmother at first, so it kind of sounded like it was like the wife to the godfather, the godfather's wife. Is she called the godmother? Or is it just like the godfather's wife? I have no idea. I've never actually watched The Godfather. I probably should. Maybe I don't know. I hear it's good. All right, got a wand for the other fairy, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What is it? Oh, Queen Scepter. Okay, let's go do that real quick. I got the other horse plate, it looks like. Awesome. First, let me... I totally forgot to put the tombstone on here while we were there. Oh, of course I can't get in. Of course. I need a key for freaking everything. Just all the things. All the time. <sighs> um. Black Rose. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, let's put this here. Get to Hosey. I think the rose is for this. Nope. No, it's not. Apparently, it's not. Can I use the pickaxe here? Yes! So there's two shoes. There's freaking two shoes. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> I 
Um. Here we go. Ride the horse. Oh, is this? What's this key for? Is this for the thingy? Rose room key. I guess that might be what that thing is. Here, let me take the shortcut. You know, it would be a shortcut if I actually went the right way. Good job, Lara. Oh, well, I need... There's a puzzle here anyways. Rose potion. I hear that, like, roses are actually edible. I don't know if they taste any good, but I hear that they're edible. <laughs> Black rose there. Uh, so I gotta get that white rose still. Hmm. Oh, I know what I need to. I still need to give the fairy that wand. Uh, yeah, that's the right way. Wrong fairy. That, that's a rose pad. Hmm. I need to go back to the kitchen, apparently. <clears throat> I've always wondered, like, how long it takes to make these glass panels. I bet it's really hella hard. Can you use this hammer on this bottle? And now I have the heart pendant. Yay! There are thousands of us if you look up into the dark, clear sky. So star. And then, of course, the white rose. I will lead you to the sleeping princess. Awesome. We got the white one. All right, so let's go back. All right, Ugh. here we go. The princess is asleep. I must find a way to wake her. Uh, the metal plate is connected to the top of this peculiar machine. It looks like a pathway to some kind of fluid. I carry a pigeon standing by the window. Match a series of symbols to defeat the evil godmother. Holy crap. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, oh, oh. Crap. Now I'm behind. You cannot stop me. <laughs> Quit cackling. We know. You're ugly. We understand. It's hard. It's hard to be ugly. When you're also evil, because apparently you can't have inner beauty or anything when you're evil. Says every movie evil. What? Every movie ever. Why the heck did I say evil? Whatever. Basically, the point of my story is even if you're evil, you should totally love yourself. I don't know why I'm... I'm I don't know. I talk about weird crap when I'm distracted and... Doing things that are hard. Crap. Oh, okay. I, I should... Oh, crap. Uh, I should maybe stop talking. Crap. Holy mother of Jesus. Too many samples. Oh, 
Jesus Christ, where is this? Okay. Ugh. Whew. All right, we did it. Thank you, detective, for fully lifting this dreadful curse. My body is weak from centuries in slumber. I'll rest here for just a bit more. When the curse resurfaced, it also awakened the spirit of the evil godmother. She led you here to find my sleeping body. With it, she can once again materialize in human form. You have done well, for now she is gone forever along with the cursed vines. Your city is now safe. However, another curse has awakened, one that will submerge our world in water. To stop it, you must find the fabled Frog Prince, as he still lives among us to this day. The Carrier Pigeon has given hints to his location. Good luck in your next investigation, Detective. Thought to be a fairy tale, you find the sleep sleeping princess through your investigation and awaken her from the curse. Now your city is safe and the princess hands you a small crown and urges you to stop another uh, imminent threat. Holding a map left by a carrier pigeon, you begin your next investigation in search of the fabled frog prince. A new heart adventure is unlocked. You now gain the golden rose item. And that's like if you want to play again. Um, now, honestly, the Frog Prince one, I don't know if they ever made it. I, I have not seen it. I think I'll probably look it up and see if they made it or not. Um, I've played three others, and I know they're making a fourth right now. Um, well, a fifth if you count this one. So, I don't know about the Frog Prince one. I'll have to look that up. I totally forgot about that part. Anyways, um, thanks for playing Dark Parable's Curse of Briar Rose with me. And, you know, as, as always, my final review is, like I said before, absolutely love these games. And uh, we're going to be playing them for the next couple weeks. So you guys get to, get to see me play my favorite games. And then we'll probably start playing games that I haven't played before. <laughs> and you can watch me struggle even hardcore. Even more hardcore. Words. English. I don't... With those. And stuff. Alright guys. So as always, thanks for playing with me today. This has been Lara Sainara. If you love my channel art, just, you know, click on my waifu over there. And her tiny cows of the things that she does. <laughs> Yay! Um, and I now have a Patreon. So go ahead and uh, support this channel. And support me in my endeavors to just be like the best person at hidden object games ever on youtube maybe please cool <laughs> anyways uh next week we'll be playing the next one in the series for dark parables and i don't, I don't know just go do whatever you do just don't I don't know, don't fall asleep for centuries. That's, it's very unhealthy. There's a lot of degrading of your muscles. <laughs> Bye, guys.